Good morning, folks. So last night, this happened. And it doesn't happen often that I go on stage and sing, mostly because I'm not that good of a singer. But there's something that to, that's to be said about um, cooperating, collaborating with students and making something happen like that. It started a long, long time ago, back in 2004, I think, when a couple of students who wanted to play Wonderwall asked me if I was willing to sing it. And I'm flattered because I don't have that great of a singing voice. Uh, I'm not a Mariah Carey, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not an Adele, um, I'm not a Kate Bush, for those who understand that reference. Um, I'm, I'm just me, and I try my best. But I think it's important when students ask you to get involved in something, or to, to collaborate, or to participate in an event, I, I only see the positives behind it. I only see the good things behind it. I only see the fact that you're getting to bond with students uh, who wouldn't necessarily be in your classroom. I get to discover a side of them that I never, never, ever see. From a completely pedagogical perspective, um, creating something like this with students um, falls into the whole makerspace philosophy, the act of creating. I'm a big believer in the whole cult of Dunn Manifesto that was created by Brie Pettis. I'm apologizing now if I've massacred your name. The fact that we are so hell-bent into trying to do something perfect because we have this fear of not doing something that is going to be right or proper. That, that fear that it won't be good enough actually prevents us from doing things. I know I'm not gonna be a good singer. I know I'm not gonna be that great, but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna create something. I think as teachers, as educators, we hold ourselves back from doing things because we have that fear of doing something that we feel or we think might not be per perfect. How many projects have we, we tossed aside because we thought, oh, I don't have the right materials, I don't have the right setup, I don't have the right classroom, I don't have the right students, um, when in fact, all you need to do is do it and then adjust as you're going along or, or once it's done, you know, fix the problems. I think we get so so much accomplished, so many things accomplished if we actually just just did these things. I mean, I don't want to sound like a, a, a cliched slogan, but sometimes just doing it gives that sense of accomplishment, and we get to learn, and we get to to make learning more meaningful for our students and, and teaching more meaningful for us. I know that the whole makerspace philosophy involves like technology and, and, and sciencey stuff that I don't understand. Um, but, but just being artistic and creative and doing something like that, anything that, that makes learning meaningful for students improves education, improves our learning experience. And in the end, it, it will only benefit us all. So yeah, I sang Tragically Hip last night. Uh, and, and part of me is still, is still reeling that I, I actually did it. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of still basking in the whole thing because I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off. New Orleans is Sinking is not an easy song, just putting that out there. If anybody wanted to try it in karaoke, it's not an easy song, not easy. So I'll, I'll put a link to the full video below. Uh, so yeah, so create people, do things, make stuff with your students. It's a good thing.